Oh my god, the porch is up. Oh my, I'm dying. I'm dying, man. Do you think that my style is influencing you? Just because it happens to be your style doesn't mean that it doesn't. Now, what French Nine country? months ago, would you have oh. been at a thrift store buying well, that print? Well, no. Oh. <gasps> you can't have all of them. So you I'm not. have to wait in the car. Oh, you don't even let me go to the store? Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm literally starting this vlog right after ending the last one, but I showered. <laughs> today is Saturday, and the framers are supposed to be back at the house today, if not tomorrow, I'm not sure. And I don't really get like, you know, updates on when they're gonna be coming back, so to speak, but they did say they'd see me on Saturday. So I kind of just have to go down there and, and take a look for myself to see if they're there. And tomorrow morning, early, well, not too early, but around 8 a.m., we are driving to Houston, where I'm from. Well, I'm originally from Louisiana, but when I was nine, we moved to Houston, and I grew up in Houston. And my brother still lives there. And my brother's having a baby, him and his wife. And we're driving down for her baby shower. So we have some cute baby shower DIYs to do. I have to wrap the present that I got them off of their registry and things. <laughs> we have to do things, and then I'll, I'll take you guys along with me. Um, so I was just putting on a little makeup, maybe just some mascara. Let's call it an easy day today, shall we? Most important thing to me is sunscreen, eyebrows, and mascara. Everything else I can do without. Time for Kinsley's breakfast. Kinsley, are you hungry? <gasps> oh, I saw you lick your lips. She always licks her lips when she's hungry. That's how I know. Where are you going? It's over here. So a very big thank you to the Farmer's Dog for sponsoring today's video. I'm actually so excited uh, that they're sponsoring this video and wanting to work with me because Kinsley has been eating the Farmer's Dog for three years. Three years. A long time. And we started making the investment in Kinsley's long-term health like when she was really little. Kinsley's gonna be four on October 30th. You're gonna be four years old. How, where does the time go? That's, that's absolutely crazy. When she was a puppy, and we wanted to do everything for her that was good for her long-term health. One of those things was to switch her to a fresh diet. And most traditional dog food is highly processed. And Kinsley wouldn't eat it. When she was little, we went through so many different types of foods, trying different things. She would not eat anything until we found the farmer's dog and we tried her out on it and she loved it. It was good for her. It was real food. You could see it, you could smell it. So her meals are delivered straight to our door in these pre-portioned packages. And this is specific for her weight and needs. So this package is four days of food for her. So I split it into four and then I split that morning and night. Once I feed her one serving, I actually transfer all of the food to a mason jar with a sealed tight lid like this. And then I put it in the fridge. So she is on her chicken recipe. She loves the chicken. She loves all of them. She also eats turkey and pork and you can see all the fresh ingredients in there. Kinsley, are you hungry? Oh, did you lick your lips? Here you go, baby. You can come right here. Before switching Kinsley to the farmer's dog, I was always so worried about her not wanting to eat. We were trying different foods and we even had a few scary emergency vet visits in the middle of the night. But for the last three years on the farmer's dog, she eats every meal. We haven't had any emergency vet visits. She just goes for her normal checkups, which makes me very happy. And her poop isn't stinky. That might be TMI, but it's just not stinky anymore like it used to be. Now switching her to this food was also a financial investment. And I knew that going into it because the farmer's dog can be more expensive than traditional dog food you get at the grocery store. But I knew that. And for her and for her long-term health and to invest in her health like that, it's been so worth it for us for three years now. So we've continued to make the investment because she loves it and it's good for her. Sometimes she pulls it out of her bowl. I don't know why she does that. Is it good? Do you love it? Farmer's Dog is available nationwide. So you guys can click the link in my description box to get 60% off your order to try it out for your dog. She loves it. Three years. Okay, let's go figure out what's happening at the house. Okay, let's see if they're there. Yes! Woohoo! Ooh, a whole bunch of cars are here. Oh, okay. Holy, oh my gosh. I see, oh my God, the porch is up. 
Oh my, I'm dying, I'm dying. Man. Holy cow, you guys. They got here at 7.40 this morning. They have done so much. The whole porch is up. My porch is huge. I was like, did I make it too big? I don't even know. <gasps> Love it. Look, look at the porch. Obsessed. I can't believe it. It's like a whole bunch of boards and you kind of can't tell where things are, but all those joists over there are all the porch. Wow. I don't even know what to do. It's like I don't want to leave, but I can't do anything. I'm just gonna like watch them. They're probably gonna take lunch soon. We'll let them get a little further. We'll go back home and eat some breakfast and then come back in a few hours. I got home, my battery died. So we're here. I made some lunch. Apricot, almond, chickpea, tagine. Mmm. I can't believe they've made so much progress on the house. I just want these walls to be closed up. I wanna be able to be inside, in there, and not working outside, especially as we get closer to winter. We have to do baby shower stuff. So I'm gonna eat really fast, and then we'll work on uh, wrapping that and the little DIY. I wanna show you guys all of the cute little DIY supplies my mom got from Hobby Lobby. We're gonna make like a special thing for her um, hospital door since we all can't be there. Um, so it'll be something special. Grab a present. This was something that they put on their registry. It's called a mama roo. It's, I mean, I didn't know what this was, <laughs> but it's like one of those kind of like egg shaped movable. What is this called, mom? How do you describe this thing? It moves them like you're rocking them, right? <laughs> I know nothing about babies. You're my baby. That was many, many years ago. Oh. I don't think they have one of those. She's calling me old. Like, it, it's kind of like, it does different motions. Motion? Bounces and sways like you do when you're comforting your baby. It's soft and plush and provides plenty of entertainment with built-in music and toys and MP3 and Bluetooth compatibility. Whoa, I didn't know it did all that. Provide your baby with realistic rocking and swaying comfort. I don't know if it was just me, but baby wrapping paper isn't very cute. <laughs> I looked online. I even thought about like customizing one on Zazzle because I just didn't like anything, but this one was sweet. I was like, okay, this'll do. It's got like moons and clouds and suns. And then I got this like more natural kind of ribbon to make the bow. So we wrap. I hope I can wrap this big box. like stringy kind of bows, you know, traditional ones. I'm not, I've never been into those. Or like a Christmas bow that you put on top of a present. So we got some ribbon. I thought it was pretty. It had like some naturalness. I didn't want glue either. I wanted it to be like kind of natural baby. And all of the ribbon was half off. So it was like two bucks. How pretty the bow is. What do you have? What you got, Kinsley? Can I have it? <laughs> Can I have it? Oh. DIY time. All the girls are here. Olivia, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> so we use this as the base and then all of the ribbon at Hobby Lobby was half off. We, mom picked up a whole bunch of like prettier colors, like more natural, you know, blues and blue polka dots and a natural collection. Some ribbon that says, it's a boy. And then this one says, hello, little one. Cause she says that a lot too, little one. Mm -hmm. And then we can write his name. 
little, little things. Okay, you, yeah, you have to call Jason and make sure we know how to spell it. Oh, so we, we found out on Mother's Day and we had this like big Zoom call because we didn't get together. I didn't know what to expect and I film everything. So I actually have the footage of me and my mom and my dad finding out that they were gonna have a baby. I'll put it in here. <laughs> Oh my God, Jason. Am I the first to know? I better be the first to know. I'll come through this Zoom and beat you both. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh I'm so happy. That's so, I'm so happy. Hold the Lord. Oh, oh man. <laughs> I think I might be deaf now. Congratulations. Oh. That's so oh, cool. Are we so excited? I mean, how many years in the making, right? So we, I did not think that was gonna be in that egg. I don't know what was gonna be in that egg. I'm like, Wait, open, open the second one. I mean, I'm happy for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really happy for me. <laughs> right, so let's make a baby thing. So we're just gonna kind of tie, tie a bow and then tie all the strands off the bottom of it. I think I'm gonna put them on like a macrame instead of knotting. <laughs> Tip, do it like macrame. Cause I feel like if I knotted it, it would kind of like hike up one side. And it I don't know if it'll support the letters. I mean, it might. We're back at the house. Cause I knew that they would leave around four so we would be able to walk around. Are you still touching my hair? Yes. <laughs> I know I have paint in my hair. <laughs> oh, wow. Ta-da. <laughs> Ta-da. Whoa. Wow. They got Look at this porch. I know my porch is huge. I know. But so nice though. Like it's nice. He's gotta run. This will all be deck too. What? No. My mom and I have been discussing the roof. I, we think that it's weird. I need my contractor to come out and explain. <laughs> You guys, it is humid in Houston. <sighs> I'm remembering growing up here. <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> and we're staying with my brother tonight. And then tomorrow we're going to, my mom has a doctor's appointment, an eye appointment here in Houston. Then we're heading to see my grandparents. Uh, and my brother has the cutest animals. Yeah. Hey! Do you want He's been cooped up all day. Hi! <laughs> Look at that face. Look at that face. Hello, little Vida. Hello, Vida. This is our three legged baby. Huh. It doesn't slow you down. Oh, you. Hello, Mama to be. 
and that's the doggy. <laughs> okay, do you love me? <laughs> Look at how this house is decorated. The big skeletons and the I don't know octa octa. <laughs> Halloween! Oh, look at the purple cactus! Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Good morning, guys! Uh, well, I spent the last, like, 20 minutes on Twitter because finding out if everybody else's Facebook and Instagram are down this morning. So that was interesting. We're thrift shopping on the way to see my grandparents! Join us, will you? We found, well, right now we're in a town called Beaumont. It's kind of like halfway between Houston, where I grew up, and Louisiana, where I was born. I like the big mason jars. These are all shorties, like these, but with the wider mouths. Brass lamp. Two ninety nine. Oh, this one's pretty. Look at this one. Medium frames are five dollars, large frames are eight dollars. Whole bunch of brass. $2.99. They're heavy though. It's like, how much brass do I really need, guys? Like, really? Oh, these are pretty. These are heavy. They're for globes though. Oh, well, yeah, the shade doesn't go with that lamp at all. It is pretty. With the right shade, it would be really pretty. Sweet. Also, I found some really good frames really good for all her art really good frames I know. Well, those are really pretty yeah and you know we were usually doing that at goodwill no and you know something about that Walmart. thrift store they keep the small frames we didn't really buy very many for small frames but you know how they say that they never put them out because no one ever buys them? Uh huh. They had a lot of small ones. So can you give me that little little picture? You think? I like it. Oh, yeah. Do you think that my style is influencing you? I think that our styles do overlap, and a a small framed landscape will go in my house. Just because it happens to be your style doesn't mean that. It doesn't. Now, I have to explain this carefully. That's not just a landscape like that just doesn't go in one style. Totally. You wouldn't put that in contemporary, but that would go cross over a whole bunch of different uh, genres of style. Yeah. Like French nine country. months ago, would you have been at a thrift store buying Well, no, because I had a contemporary house. Yeah, I think the world is panicked right now because Facebook and Instagram are down. They're literally down. Like I tried to post a picture on Instagram like three hours ago, it wouldn't load. I was like, do I have any service? We were driving. And then still wouldn't work, still wouldn't work. Turned off my phone, turned back on my phone. It still wouldn't work. Checked my mom's phone, it wouldn't work on hers. I was like, I think the Instagram is down, but that was just such a bizarre concept. Look at that. Oh, wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Like stunning. $79.99. Oh it's beautiful. Look at this. <gasps> this is a hundred dollars. Why do they price things like this? Why? This is so cool. $59.99. This is so cool. Look at this. Okay, 
Can you paint me something in this? No. Oh. Mom! Okay, I'll trade you. I'll trade you the little bitty landscape for this one. This is not how bartering works. I found it. Oh my gosh. This print I always see in pretty kitchens. Look. You know that print that I always see in those inspiration pictures? That's totally it. <gasps> you can't have all of them. <laughs> I found all these frames in here. So Mom found frames at the first one. Okay, I no found more frames. fighting. No more fighting. No more fighting. <laughs> okay, when we find those ornate gold frames, but they I those want some are of like those. my. But I have a house. I have a cottage, a okay. New Orleans cottage. Okay, so here. you went first at the first store. You you got the ones at the first store. I got these. You can go first. You can walk first. This is my store. I'll get your piddly little leftovers. No, this is my store. I I'm know, I know. So you I'm not- You have to wait in the car. Oh, you don't even let me go in the store? No, no. You guys, that's not nice. You're no. supposed to spread kindness and love. I'm gonna, I am. After you That's bought kindness, everything, because I will kill you if you find this is my. my <laughs> oh, you're kind, so you're warning me that you might kill me. But this is my favorite store I found, and I'm bringing you to. I'm bringing you to my favorite store. My favorite, because I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where it Your is. Your favorite store. But I've only been. We've arrived at Mom's favorite thrift store, Treasure House resale shop anything you want in here you can have unless i like it <laughs> <laughs> i love the bickering with her <gasps> yay oh oh you guys we have to find something cool for mom otherwise she's not gonna want to shop with me anymore I'll give her anything. <laughs> She'd say the same thing about me. We just love bickering. Whoa. I love that hat. That's my hat. Did she see that one? Mm -hmm. oh, it's a big thrift store. It goes on and on. We have a lot of dishes. A lot, a lot of dishes. I wonder if I can find another set of those mugs that oh what is this i like ribs <laughs> oh twelve dollars all right whoa i saw some clear mugs up here but they're all really small not exactly what i like these are real sweet they must look kind of fall like like a leaf There's a brass container oh six dollars Kind of pretty, actually. Got the red in it. That is so unique. I mean, it's missing the lid for sure. I think we need this for the pop-up shop. I need to find a globe for something I have at the house. And I'm on a mission to find an amber globe. Kind of like that color, but not that shape. I'm actually finding some pretty cute little preppy kind of in style clothes like this vest I'm kind of into and I like this and I got some stuff for Romeo I love this and some found him some Kuji he loves me right now oh my god they're so cool good morning guys it's the next day we just spent the night talking to my grandparents and my grandma and I was like Look at all of the amazing things that my grandma has. Look at all this. Everything in here. And everything in here. And all of those teapots. You guys, we had so much fun. My grandma was just going through everything and telling me stories about everything, where she got it and what it is. And it was like the best time. And we haven't seen my grandparents in so long because of, you know what, so. It was really, really nice. So now we're going to the thrift store that they have here. My grandmother's mad at me. She said, I'm wrong. <laughs> that's Why am I she, wrong? That's because she is wrong. She said on one of her blogs that she was raised and born in Houston. Yeah. And I got news for you. She was born in Louisiana because I delivered the baby. <laughs> that's why I wear this fleur-de-lis. 
They gave this to me when I graduated college. college. Uh, well, you've been to college since then. Twice, yeah. But so that was the first, my first that's degree a, in college. Fit him. That's yeah, it, when I went to fit him. And it's a fleur de lis, the state symbol of Louisiana. So yes. you are corrected. I was born in Louisiana, lived here until I was nine. That's right. Then moved. That's right. Why, mama? And that's right. Had, and her accent isn't a Texas accent, it's a Louisiana accent, Cajun, Cajun accent. And also, the one you're listening to now holding this camera is a Louisiana accent. Exactly. Also, you guys, don't um, don't judge me. I'm wearing the same outfit I wore two days ago. Do you want a big gold one? I still look for the Pyrex stuff. I just can't help myself. <laughs> I think that's just like it. The one that you found at the flea market? But $4.99, that's... Woof! <laughs> that's so cute! Hi. We made it home. I made it home to my love. Did you miss me? Blink if you missed me. Blink if you miss mama. Blink. <laughs> hey. Blink if you miss mama. Oh my god, have you not blinked? What? Oh, I think I saw a blink. You guys, we made it back home at like 11.30 last night. I was tired. That drive straight from Louisiana to here is like a little over seven hours. Every time I go to LA or like that, like I, I go away for a few days, I have to get my mind back to, okay, what do I need to work on and reassess? I've been spending the day like cleaning up. I pile all my laundry. I'm going to do some laundry. I cleaned over there and just got my life back in order after I don't know, to start the week off on a Wednesday. <laughs> start the week off right, but it's Wednesday. Um, I also wanna go down to the house and see the progress that they've made on the roof because they were working on that and fixing that and getting it to where I was going to like it both aesthetically and it match a cottage look, but also function. Um, and since it was tying into, and since it was tying into an existing house, it was a little complicated. So we're, we're getting there. I got a few fun things on our thrifting adventure. So I actually have an inspiration picture on my Pinterest. Pretty common um, to have in like a dining room or a breakfast area. Um, I forgot what the, what, I th forgot what it was called. Um, it, there's a name for this um, print. And I thought it was pretty. It was $5.99 at Goodwill. I thought it was nice. I mean, a wooden frame too. And I thought it would be pretty somewhere. And then I found some really pretty frames. Look at this one. Look how thick. Amazing. Just pretty. This was a Goodwill 2 for $7.99. Yeah, $7.99. And then I found this frame too at Goodwill. That Goodwill had a lot of, I mean, you don't come across these very often. I looked for eight months for the ones in my breakfast nook. Kisly. <laughs> this one was $7.99 too. So good. I mean, obviously not the print, um, but we can have my mom paint us something in there. And then I found this little pot. I thought it was so pretty. It had like little red, little, little, do little, a little print on it. Uh, it was $3 at that thrift store, but it was yellow. So I think yellow was 25% off or some percentage off. So it wasn't uh, $3, but I thought it would be pretty, like how pretty would that be in a kitchen uh, with a little plant in it? It doesn't have a hole, but you know, like just something cute like that. And then I also got this old, um, this vintage Oreo tin from 1991. I have, uh, Romeo and I have a few friends that were born in 1991. So I thought it would be pretty to, uh, what was this? Oh, this was $2. I thought it would be pretty to, you know, bake them cookies or brownies. I, my friend Jerrica loves brownies. So Jerrica, if you're watching this, forget you saw this. <laughs> um, so I can, can make her some brownies for that. I actually found Romeo some great pieces because I always look for him too when we go to new thrift stores or really every thrift store. I just kind of, kind of, just meander over to the men's clothing section and just look because I actually like shopping the men's clothing section too. But I got this vest. It's like an olive green color and I tried it on and it hung really nice on me. Um, so it was $5, but it was yellow. So I think it was 25% off and I liked it for fall over like a long sleeve or something layered. And then also this 
turtleneck with the little polo, but it's, it's Eddie Bauer. Um, and I thought it was cute. It was three bucks. I thought it was like cute and preppy to style for fall. So I got those, that's it. That's all I got, those, those little items. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I have no idea how long it's going to be. We did a lot from the baby shower to thrift shopping, from seeing my grandparents. It was all just such a good family time, I feel like. And um, it was so good to see my grandparents and my grandma was showing me all of her really cool stuff that I love, you know, from her dining room and what she's collected and where it was from and uh, just stories about it. And it was like, really, really special. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you're not already subscribed to the vlog, subscribe. I post here every week. Don't forget to catch up on the renovation videos over on my other channel. I'm gonna probably end this vlog here and s literally stop, start the camera and start the next vlog because I wanna go down to the house and see what progress they made. And of course, I'll take you guys along with me. I hope you're having a great October so far and I'll see you next week. Bye guys. <laughs> Choke. Hi, did you miss Life me? I love you. I love you.